Hi guys, welcome you guys all back to my channel. As usual, I'm Brittany. Thank you so much for joining. If you have not subscribed, I would love it if you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button, even hit that notification button, because I love to see you guys. My analytics say that you're watching, so keep coming back and just subscribe. So today we are here to actually do a book unhaul, and I think this is my first unhaul that I actually remembered to record on my channel. Also, for those who don't know, I got sick with the flu for New Year's, so I'm kind of just coming off of it, and that's why I sound like this, so just bear with your girl. We'll be done soon. But I have a lot of books. I've actually decided, um, I got some books for Christmas, and as usual, every year for my birthday, I get books. So I was like, I need to make room. I got rid of all of the books I'm about to show you, and I still have no room on my shelf for more books. So there's that like my bookshelf is rather full one day I'll show you guys it but I just wanted to show you guys the books that I am um the books that I am either going to sell or donate to the library it just depends on like which ones I feel like you know I can make money off of and which ones I can't so let's just get into it the first one I'm going to be getting rid of is Heaven by Angela Johnson I'm actually going to give this to the library the library does not have a copy of this book I de or in my county the library does not have a copy of this book and I feel like it really should so I'm donating this one to the library it is a fantastic middle grade book um and I bought it for the throwback-a-thon and like it's just one of those books where I was like okay feels like I remember this book so my sister uh love her she bought me the entire Nevernight series so I'm actually going to be donating this one to the library because for some reason the library only has like one copy of Nevernight and then they just got God's Grave but they don't have Dark Done yet and I'm sure somebody wants to read this so this is another one that I could technically get money off of but I do like pumping up my library's um my library's stash so this one is definitely going to the library I still have the book I have the full collection now I just I bought this one before my sister bought me the whole set for Christmas so gonna pass it on the next book that I'm unhauling is The Light of Paris by Eleanor Brown this is an adult fiction and it was supposed to be reminding you more of the me before you series by Jojo Myers but I could not get into this book. I've had this book for at least three years. In fact, I still have a bookmark in it, which I'm glad I just looked at. Uh, oh, it's my Costa Rica bookmark. So yeah, I collect bookmarks when I go to other countries. But yeah, I could not get into this book. It was dry. It was boring. And every time I tried to pick it up, I got bored and I stopped and I never picked it back up. So this one is going to be sold probably. So yeah, the next book that I am going to be trying to sell or get rid of in any shape, form or fashion is The Artisan Soul by Erwin Raphael McManus. I don't know. It just didn't speak to me. Um, I've heard I saw some creatives who referenced this book a lot. So I figured let me like give it a try and it nothing really resonated with me. It's the best way that I can put it. And it's not a book that I see myself trying to go back to and read again. So getting rid of it so the next book that I am um I'm actually going to give this to one of my teacher friends because this is a middle grade book and it is furthermore by Tahira Mafi this book isn't bad I think it's actually a good adorable book it's just again it's middle grade and I know people love Tahira Mafi and that's great but this is very middle grade so I just it was cute when I read it but I realized that um, I think Witchwood is the second book. It's via audiobook on Cloud Library. So instead of buying it, I'm just going to read it. And I have no desire to reread this. So we're going to give it to somebody else. We're going to donate it to a classroom library so that um, kids that this age group was meant for will enjoy this book. Because I do think it's a good book. And if I was middle grade, I would be obsessed with Tahira Mafi right now. But yeah, I'm removing bookmarks out of all these books. The next book that I will be donating, um, because I don't think my library has, I don't think my library has very many Nenende Okora for books. Um, me personally, I love Nenende. Um, I have a hit or miss relationship with her books. So sometimes her books really resonate with me and I really love them. And then sometimes I get books like Lagoon where it's just too sci-fi for me. Or maybe I might've actually like missed the point of the book. I was confused 
the majority of the time that I read this book and um by the end of it I was just left very clueless I was like I mean I I don't even I don't even know how to explain this book but um I'm sure somebody who's really knee deep in real real sci-fi will enjoy this book so library another book that I will be per or I was either gonna donate to the library or try to see if I can get money is The Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Now to be clear I actually did like this book and I do like Sea Witch Rising which is her second book that came out in 2019. It's just obviously it's not an Ursula version of it and I just want an Ursula version so I don't see a reason to keep it. It was cool. The cover is really pretty. I got inspired to do a nice pretty um, makeup look off of it but it's like, okay, I read it. I'm not going to read it again. Let's donate it to somebody who will. The next one that I will be um, donating probably is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine. I have the hardcover version of this book. I saw the hardcover on um, Book Outlet, and I like hardcovers. So this is just going because I already have an extra copy. There's no other explanation. I'm going to see if I can try to sell this first. And then if not, it's going to the library. And that is Black Leopard, Red Wolf by Marlon James. This was a very dark, dark, dark book for me. Um, if you guys remember from the live that we did with the book club, plus my wrap up, I did not actually enjoy this book at all. It was just really intense for me. And at first I thought maybe I was going to reread it so that I could try to get another understanding. But honestly... I just have no desire to reread this book. So because of that, it got removed off my shelf and it's going to go to somebody who's going to enjoy it. The next book that will be getting donated is Timekeeper by Tara Sim. Um, I did actually finish this entire series. I actually really enjoyed the series, minus the whole screwing clock spirits things. That part was still weird for me. But the rest of the book, I actually thought it had a great story. Um, I was very invested in how they were going to protect time and I liked the mythology that was in the series. However, I have no desire to buy the series. So this isn't a standalone. So I'm gonna get rid of it. The next book is Neverworld Wake by Marisha Pessel. Um, I did read this book. I found it. I figured it out very quickly that who was gonna live and I don't know. I think other people really enjoyed this book, but for me, it was just, I think I gave it like a three and it was okay. But the reason that this is going away is because on my bookshelf, I didn't even remember that I had it on there and I only have one bookshelf. So if I don't remember the books, that means I really have no interest in it. So we're going to get rid of it. So the next book that I'm getting rid of, I know I literally just bought this on book outlet, but I'm getting rid of Strange the Dreamer by Lanny Taylor. And that's because, um... After reading the first book, I was very intrigued about the story. Reading the second book, I was like, okay. All right. Well, I mean, I guess. I guess. So for that, um, honestly, the only reason that I would have kept it on my bookshelf is because the cover is absolutely beautiful. But I don't want... That's not why I'm, I'm keeping books, you know? So... This one's going. The next two I'm getting rid of are uh, Down Among the Sticks and Every Heart of Doorway by Cena McGuire. This is the Wayward Children series. And to be clear, I actually enjoy the Wayward Children books, but I like listening to them via audiobook. The narrators that are chosen to read these are really good. So I don't actually end up opening these books and there's just no reason for me to keep them. It's not a series that I want to keep reviewing either. And they're very short reads. And I feel like somebody else could really enjoy these who doesn't like audiobooks so um I'm actually going to donate these as well the last two that I will be trying to donate or make money off of is the rebels in the sand series by Alan Hamilton I have the first one and then I have traitor to the throne and honestly after reading trailer traitor to the throne it took me a very long time to get through this book I just didn't care about the characters um midway through this and by the end of it I was like who cares so I've never actually decided whether or not I'm going to read the third one. I have, there's no anticipation to read the third one. I don't really care who dies. I don't care how it ends kind of thing. So for that reason, I decided we might as well get rid of the books. Um, plus, another thing I don't like that 
the only way that I can get this cover for Rebel in the Sands is paperback. And I'm one of those snobs where like, if I have paperback, the first one, I need paperback for all of them. Or if I have hardback for one, I need hardback for all. And I need them to match. Hence why I bought the Carval series in hardback. And I bought um, Shadow of the Fox and the Last Magician because I like the covers and I want them all to be hardback. So yeah, that was all of the books that I will be either donating um to my library or I have teacher friends so the ones that are middle grade they're definitely going to one of my teacher friends without question because um I like helping them build their libraries and then the other ones um some of them are going straight to the library other ones I'm gonna see if I can make some money off of them and buy more books so again thank you guys so much for watching and until the next time guys bye